Hi guys, uh, hi. I'll be taking you guys on a nature walk uh, uh, today. So right now we are at the southern part of uh, Gala Tembe Camp. We will be walking through a little bit of thickets, not as thick as what you are seeing at the background, and we'll do a little bit of uh, open clearing. So the reason why we do nature walks here is actually to concentrate on the small things, tracks, signs, it's just to give you a broader understanding on how animals stay in their environment. So we will be walking in a single file. I will be leading the walk, so everybody will be behind me. We'll be as quiet as we can. We only talk when we stop. If we walk, nobody talks. If you need to, uh, if you want to ask me about something or in something interesting that you saw, we have to use uh, natural sounds, like a bird sound if you're good at uh, whistling. Please just do a whistle and I will stop. So what I have right here is a, a rifle, a 375 rifle. It is already on working mode, meaning all the there are five rounds inside, so it's not cut. So they, this is a 375. There is some 10 rounds here. Here in my bag there is some water. Whenever you guys need something to drink, feel free to ask me. There is also a first aid kit, maybe if you get stabbed by a thorn or something. All right, and I hope you enjoy the walk. All right, let's go. There's a snake there. See the body there? So this right, let me say two meters from where you are hanging on the branch. Mm. You'll see a brown. So what I know is with trees like this, the benefit of trees lying down like this, it brings shelter to 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 animals, like the scrap hair, all those different types of animals. So there was a high possibility I would find an animal. Uh, in terms of shelter here. So I just went carefully checked and boom, there's a snake. Yeah. So if you get to see trees like this, it also brings shelter to, to ground dwelling animals. Like birds would lay eggs there because it's more safe. This is the acacia tree. This uh, bush that you see here is called the uh, Cataphractus alexandra or also locally named, uh, uh, known as the trumpet thorn bush. So trumpet stone bush, the name comes from the flower. The flower actually looks like a trumpet, a very beautiful uh, white, pink whitish uh, color flower that looks more, has a shape like a trumpet. A trumpet. If you look at the branch right here, it's very, very flexible. So even the bushmen use this uh, branch to, to make bow and arrows because they are very, very flexible. Uh, black rhinos love to feed on them and these guys can grow as the highest I've seen was probably over close to three meters uh, long in height. Okay, so as you can see here you get you have different species of grasses here. You get the type of species of grasses that are strong perennial. So strong perennial grasses are grasses that uh, actually grow from the same root for almost over eight years. So as you can see here, this root is, is very stiff. When an animal is feeding, it does not feed with the whole root because the root is very, very stable, solid under. So what it does is when it's feeding on the grass, it just takes the top layer. Then the stump, the root stays. So this grass will grow from this same root when it, when it rains grows from the same root for almost 10 years, over 8 years. It grows from the same root. It's a strong perennial grass. So the weak perennials are actually grasses with uh, weak roots. So if an animal feeds, you will probably just take it with the whole root. Alright guys, uh, the light, as you can see, the light is fading now. So we'll just slightly head back to camp now. I hope you enjoyed the walk. Each lodge on Angaba has its own unique style, layout, and atmosphere, but all offer the same wonderful sense of luxurious seclusion. Built from local materials in traditional fashion, they blend tastefully into the surrounding landscape, 
allowing visitors to feel at one with nature. Immersed in the African Mapani bush and Gaba tented camp, fondly abbreviated to OTC, is a natural extension of this wild and wonderful landscape. This classic safari style camp is tucked in a hidden valley at the foot of a Dolomite hill and is one of the few private game reserves in southern Africa where guests can see both black and white rhino. Judging by this, I would say this is a white rhino track because it's much more bigger in size, especially the front track here. The reason why I'm saying this is the front track is because it's much more bigger and more rounder compared to the back track, which is this one. So as you can see, uh, the back track, the length is more longer compared to, to this one. And uh, the two ears, which are the two toes here, is more uh, compared to black rhinos that are more pronounced. These ones are more in. So black rhino would be more a little bit out compared to to the white rhinos. And uh, the white rhinos here would be more pronounced, would be more of a W sign here, where black rhino would not be more pronounced compared to the white one. We are going to approach uh, three rhinos not very far from us, approximately plus minus 200 meters. So I'll just give you a short briefing on on uh, how it's going to be. The golden rule is to be quiet. And uh, the most important, let me say, one of the most important things is that uh, even if it's 200 meters and it's short, there is uh, potentially dangerous animals, lions, leopards. If we encounter a dangerous situation, uh, you don't run. You just stay at the back of me. So as you can see, the wind is blowing towards the west. What we are going to do is slightly, slowly, and very quietly approach them from the northwestern side. Right. So, as you as you can see, they are moving a little bit towards the south, slowly grazing. So, what we are going to do is uh, just slowly and quietly, just a little bit more slower than we did, we'll approach them. So, as you can see, they're just on their daily routine, just grazing. So we'll just approach them a little bit slower uh, than we did earlier. Okay. guys so uh, I don't want to disturb them so we'll just slowly head back to to the to the car I hope you guys enjoyed <laughs>